So apparently Bill Cosby is a serial rapist. Trigger warning, cringe and profanity awaits This you. video is dedicated to Gad Sad because fuck you. Now, growing up, Bill Cosby was an icon, an idol. People looked up to him. Everyone liked Bill Cosby. Everybody thought Bill Cosby was funny. His fat Albert, hey, 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 hey. You know, they, they, it's a funny guy, right? And everyone liked him. Now, I'll admit, you know, I liked Cheech and Chong. I thought they were funny as shit. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was too young to be listening to him. I listened to him anyways. La, 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 right? So, I mean, they were funny. Bill Cosby was a childish. It's like, oh, he's kind of childish, kind of naive, kind of weird that way. Just didn't really get into him. And then, you know, I didn't think about comedy in my life. You know, it wasn't a part of my life. I mean, we listen to it now and again. It wasn't a big deal. But then I heard Eddie Murphy raw. I was like, whoa, that's interesting. That's, that's comedy. That's, I like that. What it? What it was, was an example of someone putting their all on the line. You know, their emotion. You felt the presence of this man telling you the way it was in his mind. And then I saw Richard Pryor. And I was like, wow, these guys are great. These are great comedians. They got a soul. They come in there and they just pound away at the ideas. And, you know, they're doing the stuff. I liked them. And then Bill Cosby says... You niggas, you need to quit using those words. Stop using those words because those words are nasty. I'm like, whoa, who's the icon of blackness is telling these two cool dudes to quit using cool words? They're cool words. I mean, I like the way they use them. I like the way they roll off the tongue. They're good at it. And I thought they had emotion and heartfelt presence on stage. No, not allowed to do that. Bad, 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 bad. It's like, my niggas. I like my niggas, you know? I was like, I like these guys. I like these guys. I don't like you. And it was like the first time I could actually say to myself, I don't like Bill Cosby. He's a prude. And the bubble burst. I was free to dislike Bill Cosby because of Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy. These were my niggas. These are the guys I idolize. These are the guys I like. So I didn't have to like this guy because he was black. I could like these guys because they were black. These are my niggas. Now I grew up naive. Naive of a lot of things, as all of us do. I mean, we, how can you know anything just being born? It's kind of hard to know something if you haven't actually experienced anything. So this kid told me a joke. And it goes like this. This black man wants to go to a costume party. And he gets dressed up. He goes to his friend and he says, I'm going to be George Washington. His friend looks at him and says, You can't be George Washington. George Washington was a white guy. Whoa, okay. So he goes back. He gets dressed up again. He comes back and says, to his friend. His friend looks at him and he goes, Who are you now? I'm going to be Abraham Lincoln. His friend goes, No, you can't be Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was a white guy. What? Damn it. So he goes back to his garage and looks in his garage. He's a two by four. Ha! I got an idea. He sticks a two by four up his ass, comes back to his friend and says, You know what I'm going to be? I don't know. I'm going to be a fudsicle. Okay. We learn what's funny as we're growing up. Now, to me as a kid, that kind of seemed funny, but I wasn't sure why it seemed funny. Now, I don't want to moralize about that story. Yes, I do. Why do I want to moralize about a demoralizing story? Because it's not demoralizing. We can tell jokes that may seem racial, but we've come a long ways between them and now. 
what I want to talk about is I don't look at Bill Cosby. I mean, I didn't like him as a comedian. I don't appreciate him as a role he played or the pretentiousness that he brought into the black community, quote unquote black community. I don't believe in the black community, but that's another story. But I recognize him as a man. I recognize him as a person, a failed human being. And I wouldn't necessarily say he's entirely failed. I think his intents were probably good in ways that we don't even understand. And we can't understand because we want to punish him for being a rapist. Do we have to bury everything he did because he was a rapist? I mean, I'm speaking to the person that doesn't like him. I don't like the man. I never liked him. But I will defend the fact that he did do things for people. He did care about people, even though he did things that didn't show that caring. You can be two separate people. The Bill Cosby that was a rapist and the Bill Cosby that was the humanitarian. You can be two people. And this idea that we can't have bad character, that because he did this thing, we have to throw everything he did away. And what I mean by that, and this is the example of throwing shit away, People are pulling away their doctorates, their what are called, I can't remember it right now. So institutions give them doctorates, honorary degrees, and they pull them away now. Well, you're a bad man. We don't want you to have that honorary degree. Now, some colleges are cool. And they say, no, we don't take away honorary. We give them and that's it. It's over just the way it's supposed to freaking be. I don't give a fuck that he is a rapist. Honestly. And you say, well, I care that he hurt these women. I care that he hurt these women. But I cannot take away the hurt by taking away that degree. That has nothing to do with the hurt that he did. That has nothing to do with the hurt. You're not solving the problem by taking away these degrees. It has, it, it's stupid. And the fact that you think it's necessary or you, the fact that you react in such a way is demonstrating your ignorance of real pain, of real suffering. It doesn't solve the problem. It never will. Punishment does not solve the underlying cause of the problem. We didn't listen to the women when we should have. It's too late now. It's too late now. Not only is it too late for the women, it's too late for Bill Cosby. Maybe if we had listened to the women, he could have gotten help. Maybe if we had been more honest with understanding the possibility that these things could be true. Maybe if we were less worried about punishing people and more interested in helping people, we could have helped Bill Cosby and less women would have been hurt by what he did. Fuck you. Fuck everyone who wants to hurt Bill Cosby. Fuck them all. Fuck the women. It's too late. The damage is done. The damage is done. We've already done the damage. The best we can hope for is as much information about what happened, when it happened, and as honestly as possible, assess the situation. What could have we done differently? We are as guilty as Bill Cosby. Our society allows the Bill Cosby of the world to exist. Understand the importance of that, because we can live in a better society. But one thing we have to give up on it's punishment. Punishing Bill Cosby does nothing. 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 You're not solving anything. All you're doing is making yourself feel better. You selfish motherfuckers. Okay? You selfish motherfuckers are just doing it for your own egos. Because you as institutions want to feel better about yourself. Well, we would never give an honorary degree to a rapist. Well, you did. So fuck you. And there's probably other people out there that have done horrible things and you've given them honorary degrees. You just don't know about it. Doesn't that fuck with your head? 
You can't do anything about the past. You can only do something about the future. We live in the future. We cannot live in the past. We do not have time machines. Deal with now. Deal with what do we do now. What do we do with Bill Cosby? Do we continue to punish him in the press? Do we continue to feel good about punishing him? Make you feel good? He's a bad man. He's a bad man. So what? So what? He was bad. What the fuck are you going to do about it? I would give him amnesty if we could understand what happened. I would give him amnesty to say, look, punishing you does us no good as a society. I want you to talk about what happened. I want you to be able to honestly walk into the public and say, this is who I am. I am sorry. I am sorry what I did. I know what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm so ashamed. I want him to have the ability to do that. I want to live in a society that wants him to do that. That's a society I want to live in. That is the ethic that I stand behind. We can create a society where he can do that. I want the Lance Armstrongs to be able to stand up and say, I was wrong. Now, many people don't believe in Lance, Lance Armstrong. Sorry, Lance. I hope that he's honest. I hope that he can be a person because I understand the situation he was in. And I use him. I say, you know what, Lance? I know you can't say certain things. And I don't know if we can trust you. And maybe you don't want us to trust you. And that's okay. But I appreciate the fact that you tried to mend bridges. I appreciate the fact that you stood up and said, you know what, I fucked up and I fucked up bad. I want the ability of Bill Cosby to do the same thing. Okay, this is my Bill Cosby story. The way I feel about it, the way I think about it. I don't expect people to agree with me. I don't care if you agree with me. This is how I feel about the issue. We have a lot of issues with race relations in our country, but a lot more to do with the language we use to describe it. I used a lot of colorful language in this video for a reason. It embarrasses the fuck out of me. I hate doing it. But you got to know that's in me too. There are other sides to people. I'm not always the serious guy. I try to be funny, maybe unsuccessfully, but I try. Because I believe in humor. I believe that we need to have humor. And we need comedy of all kinds. And I'm not critical of someone that tries to be funny. I try to understand how could they be more funny? What didn't work? Yes and. Yes and. This is dedicated to Gad Sad because he challenges people to be courageous. He says, be courageous. It's his fault that I made this video, and I blame him entirely for the making of this video. And that's why it's dedicated to him. Not because I hate him. The fuck you is, okay, I will be courageous too. The fuck you is, well, fuck it. If it is who I am, then it is who I am. Fuck it.